Well, good morning, good afternoon, and of course, good evening, traders from across the globe. Today is June 14th, or at least tomorrow. This video, video is being filmed for tomorrow, June 14th, 2023. Go Knights, go baby. I'm going to the Knights game right after this video, so it's going to be quick. So, traders, for trading on 614, remember to put your stops in. Never trade without them. It's insane to trade without stops. It's a very risky business. So know that. You can lose more than you think. Put your stops in. Never trade without them. Let's get moving. On the board for trading on Wednesday, Fed Day, 614. It's Fed Day 2 of 2, which means it is Decision Day. Go, let's go. Uh, markets, charts, they say the Fed goes on hold. I've been telling you this for about four or five weeks, right? Well, four weeks since the last meeting, that the Fed is going to have to go on hold. Charts say we're at equilibrium. Fed can step off for now. I think the charts are right. We will find out tomorrow. I'll tell you one thing. Funds do not go on a buying binge ahead of a big Fed decision without some kind of information. Funds are buying everything under the sun right up till the close today, right? The Fed decision is tomorrow, or if you're watching this video on Wednesday, the Fed decision will be today, but I'm filming Tuesday night. The Fed decision is tomorrow. They bought all the way up until Tuesday's close. There's got to be a reason for that, right? What fund manager would risk all that? and then find out the market's going to crack. These guys know something. The charts will prove it. Then Omnicamp on the road. I've already heard back from you since last night's video. And yes, I will come to your town. Keep sending me the emails. Keep going to omnibootcamp.com. Fill out the application. Let me know if you want a one-on-one. -on -one. Let me know if you want it in your town. And yes, I will come to you. I've read it. I see it. Yes, why not? It's going to be a blast. Traders, I've got no time to do anything else. I want to show you charts and get my butt out of here. Remember to come to my site, livewithoscar.com. It is free. The live trading room is free. It's more of a live chat room. No credit cards required, so make sure you join me. And remember to keep your emotions out of trading. One of the best things you can do to keep those emotions at bay is A, use a chart. B, put your damn stop in first. And then C, say this to yourselves over and over again because if you're in a bad trade especially, it will help you out. Are you with me? One, two, three. Stop so. In emotions are out. Traders, with no further ado, let's go look at some charts. Traders, the Dow Jones Industrial Average gets above resistance. Look at that. Got above the resistance from back here. Not bad, right? Well, let's keep looking. Omni, Omni is still bullish. Apple, now here's what I'm talking about. There is no way in the world that funds go on such a big buying spree right before a big decision that's going to make the market go down, right? Why would they do that? Apple is the market. Look at this bad boy just taking off, right? It's had nothing but upward movement. Every now and then you get a little pullback, upward movement, little pullback, upward movement. But they're buying Apple. It is the market. Tesla. Do you think they'd be doing this to Tesla if they thought the market was going down tomorrow? Look at Tesla. Look at NVIDIA. It never even bothered to come back here and fill this gap. It has turned this into a flag and is breaking out. Look at that thing. So why would you think that it's why would you think the market's going to go down, which is what happens if they raise rates? I don't think so. I think these markets are saying they won't raise rates. Look at this next chart. Amazon, huge component to the market. Look at that. It's up here. New highs for the week, new highs for the month, new highs for the year, and it is rocking. Right? This is these are huge, huge companies. Facebook. Traders, you remember all the way down here when I showed you this V bottom and I said Meta has found its legs. It is now going to start to go. Look at the amount of movement we've seen since. Dear Lord. And look at the way it's holding to this average so smartly. Just a nice average there, right? But this is a monster, huge company, huge component to the stock market. And look at it all the way up here, buying the crap out of it. Why would they keep buying it? Look, 
Relentless fund buying right before a major Fed decision? I don't think so. Look, Netflix, they bought so much, they left a little gap right here on, on Tuesday. So, unbelievable. Microsoft, fund managers know something. Why would you put this kind of money? Why would you put zillions of dollars into the biggest stocks in the world right before a report if the report was going to be bearish, right? It doesn't make sense. It makes sense the report will be bullish, meaning they probably will not raise rates tomorrow. Apparently, the charts are correct. The Fed will not raise interest rates is what I got from looking at those charts. But then... One of my Omniacs asked me to show him gold. Oscar, please give me gold analysis. This is for you. Gold, I think, is in big trouble. I think it follows the way of those arrows. Why? Well, many reasons, but the simple one is this. See this huge trend line? And you see this average. Generally, gold hits the average, gets back up. If it gets under the average, it gets to the trend line and right back up. Well, this time got to the average and started building a bear flag below the average, below the trend line. Omni's bearish. You might have room to mess around in this flag a little, but it looks to me like that will be our end result in gold. I hope that helps for you who wanted the gold analysis. To everybody else, I hope the rest of the video helped you. Let's see what the Fed's going to do. The chart says they go into hold mode. And if you would like to join me, Join me at livewithoscar.com in my free trading room. I will be live streaming when the Fed makes its decision at 2 o'clock. All right, traders, that's it. I'm off to the Knights game. Go, Knights, go. I will see you all at the site.